Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. Today I will be showcasing my Naya 2020 deck, a deck that is all for Rihanna, the new Naya, you know, card that you, know, you lose a creature that's multicolor and you get it back at the beginning of your step in your hand. It falls for 5 for a 5 4 as a flyer and all other creatures you get plus 1 plus 0. So it's like a domery but it's like a flyer. It's a pretty cool card and it has a great great animation. So uh, it is Naya, but we're mostly focused on, as you are seeing here, uh, Gruul and Celestia rather than that much on Boros. But you could make it a lot more aggro with Feather Boros, so to speak, which is my second reiteration, which I will showcase in another video. But uh, this deck is a little bit more like we ramp up, we play our creatures, we have something for the control matchups, we have something to get life back, we have some things, you know, to uh, kill creatures either with fighting with the Voracious Hydra, or in my case, I just played like a plus four plus four Voracious Hydra, I gave it the double counters, I played it with uh, Rhythm of the Wild and just insta killed the enemy because I had a few other creatures as well. Uh, the reason we're playing is more Selesnia rather than Boros as well is that I do like the control aspect of Knight of Autumn and Leyline of Sanctity. I, of course, Tristania as well for that bond ma uh, mass manipulation rather than not having that for the Boros part. Uh, of course, we have Robert Zeverm to either fight or kill uh, some land. And of course this is the troll peak of the deck, which is a Kama Primal Calamity. The reason that it's the troll peak is none other than that it's a 9 mana costing card that will rotate out in the next set. So it's not that relevant in all honesty, but it is a very fun card. Yeah. Um, if you could, of course, you always need to have like four temples of triumph, in my opinion, because the scry is amazing. Other than that, we just have, you know, our usual other type of land cards. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the games. Just before we get into the games, I do want to talk about the mastery system that, due to the problems they had uh, in Tuesday, with a lot of people, including me, not being able to play the game for the first day which was really, really sad, uh, they did uh, give us a code to redeem that is this one brought back, I'm pretty sure, and I already redeemed it, and it gives you basically, uh, oops, gives you two levels, 2000 experience, which you can get this stuff over here, and I do believe maybe it also gives you one corset uh, booster pack, which is pretty cool. Now. Let's get in the game. Oh boy, our first game of the day. Exciting. Well, of course, not my first game of the day because I was playtesting this deck all day. And legit changed it like 50 times, in all honesty. But I'm pretty sure I like this the most. Oof, uh, let's mulligan this. Uh, a lot better. It has ramp, it has a scry. Unfortunately, no ley lines. It does uh, sudden me. What do we get rid of? We get rid of the... I guess the land, because we have the ramp. Now that's an interesting one. I think the best play is to play Lano or Elf. And then either play Paradise Druid or uh, Rhythm of the Wild, depending on what we get. By the way, if you are enjoying the video, uh, like uh, because I forgot to say this last time, make sure you know to like and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. So in this specific case, we play the Paradise Druid, we play the Temple of Triumph, we get the land, of course, because it's very useful. We get Rhythm of the Wild plus Zurtar Goblin down. Now that's a good ramp. And we also have Voracious Hydra going at down for right now plus three, but I would like a plus four. I mean, if we gave it haste, all we're talking about, right? Oh, that's really good. So in this case, we give it four. We haste it. And. Did you 
see that bug? Anyways, we chased it and basically that's the combo I was talking about at the beginning, which I can't believe we actually got it. Because we're running like only one rhythm of the wild, maybe I should go to, but yeah. Excuse me. Alright. Sorry for the little bit of uh, cutting the audio here and there, it's because I changed the scenes to see if I'm recording and if I brought the mic back because I still have allergies, they just don't leave by the day. <sighs> it's very annoying. Anyway. Oh come on, don't rope us on the first game I'm recording. The kitty will be sad, look at it, it's getting sad, you're making the kitty sad. Get into the thing. See? Gotta know it. Oh come on, don't rope us first game. Uh... Hey, alright. Alright, that's good. I mean, I believe roping is like... Why? Maybe he has bad internet, but he played really fast all game long, so I really doubt that. Just believe he was... And you can't tell me that it took that much time to decide what to defend with like one, three, two creatures. So maybe I'm overreacting and it's not roping, but you never know. Boop, boop, boop. I'm very excited for this deck because I told you I have two of the deck. One that's more Boros focused and this that's more Gruel focused. And I really don't have a name yet. I should find a name for this. Another 3 mana, another J Light Ranger. Uh, uh, so he will. Alright. Oh, it's GG. Alright, cool. First game, win for us. Very good sewing for the Hydra and the Rhythm of the Wild with the Ram, which I wasn't expecting in all honesty to sew, but pretty cool. Alright, I'm really happy that that game went this well. In all honesty, I don't know. Yesterday, when I was playing this early, I was. Having a lot of trouble recording the Grixis one, just because um, I was always playing versus mono blue, mono red, and control. But this today I'm like played versus Timur and Elementals, um, some mono black. Oh no no no, Orzo of Vampire, Life Gain, and Life Loss. It was pretty cool. Mm. Um, we can throw one ley line down. It's really good, so this was a very good mulligan. If we're playing versus mono red or control, and I've really wanted to show Leyline to you. Excuse me. Alright, sorry for that. Every game, every game my nose will clog up or something. I just I can't catch a break in all honesty. Alright, submit. Protect me. Um, we're gonna pay for this just because we can play Knight of Autumn and we can just heal up into full and have a 2-1 down or just don't care about the heal. Also one. Oh, cool. You st uh, probably either mono... I I'm guessing he was mono red. I'm guessing he was mono red. Oops, I pressed recording late on this one. Hello. Hello. The Rain Man. The Rain Man. Alright, hopefully this, uh, I don't know if this is messing up the audio, but I had to put the fan on, I'm having my hand over the mic. So maybe that will not really destroy the audio, we'll see. That's good for me. Again, Leyline works very well versus both Control and Mono Red. This bug... He's annoying with but oh yeah. Again mono red. So two turns in a row, mono red gave up on fighting me because of ley lines and that that just puts a smile on my heart because I hate mono red players. They are so 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 annoying. And just see them suffer in the hands of my ley lines, just the best thing ever. Alright. And when I say hate I don't mean like, ooh, hatred from the heart. I, you know what I mean. I'm like, they're annoying, but not hatred, annoyed. It's like, you know. Don't take everything too much on for the face value, okay? Sorry. 
So I'm seeing kind of a bo uh, bro Ragdos. I need to make a Ragdos deck as well. I need to make so many decks. Oh, it's Griggs control. Oh, it's gonna be a Ragdos deck. Interesting. I want to make a Ragdos. It's Griggs control. <laughs> now imagine if I had ley lines here. How good would that be? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, sometimes I feel. But how does the circle? Sometimes I feel. Never slow down. Yeah, okay. Leyline's just wins versus Grixis, I guess. You know? Leyline's is the card of my dreams. I know, like, the first two videos didn't have this card, but it's legit. Uh, my second favorite card, third favorite card, no, second favorite card, fourth M2020. Alright, I don't know, is it second or third? I mean, Voracious Hydra is number one in my heart, you know that. Uh, I don't like that. Kind of really don't like that either, but, yeah, yeesh. I mean, I Um, it doesn't really bother me that much considering, first of all, he thinks I'm Gruul, second of all, I am kind of Gruul, but third of all, it's just Collision Colossus. What? Mardu... Mardu... Mardu. Mardu. Mardu what? Mardu reanimate? What? Mardu reanimate? What? I'm sorry, I'm just very confused. What is his deck? It's like... Why would you have a Liana if you can't reanimate it? I am... I'm sorry, I'm just very confused at this point. Oh, okay. And you get the Stitcher... So <gasps> the... What a drop. What a drop for them. I mean, I don't mind losing to reanimate. It's just like, why Mardu? That just confuses me. I'm not like I'm not even mad or anything. I'm just like more confused as, as, as anything else than that it's Mardu. I mean, Grixis for me. I don't know. Maybe he wanted the Lyra and the Gold Eternal Ketra. Oh, you can just kill me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six does not do it, but we do get this one. Hmm. Really? Oh, God, frames. How much do we need for Voracious Hydra to kill that? 8 mana? And we have... 7 mana? At this point I don't believe we can do much, I'm just gonna go for 4 Stop the attacks, basically. Except she has another ravenous. Damn, dude. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um, might have done some there if we got rain. Unfortunate last game against Mardu Reanimate. The, con I mean the, 
we didn't really draw into what we needed to stop that, but at the same time, I don't know. Maybe they just have a good matchup versus it. Uh, I really don't like this hand. Oh god. You thought I didn't like the previous hand. That's good. Hmm. Some sort of. Um, I have no idea. What am I playing versus right now? Oh, I'm very, very, very sorry for that. Oh my god, the allergies there almost like killed me or something. Oh my god. Oh, that almost hurt my soul. Maybe I should uh, have played Knight of Autumn and just killed that. Actually, why well, I didn't do that. Okay, Knight of Autumn falls and we kill that next turn. Pretty much no matter what. This might go to a 5-4, if he's lucky enough. Nice, that's good for us. Alright, we play Knight of Autumn. We lag out. And, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. We out uh, control the rhythm of the wild, so that's pretty good for us. Alright, our next opponent is Misera. Misera? I don't know. We've been kind of lucky and unlucky with ley lines. We've been lucky that we've been getting it on the matchup that it matters, but we are unlucky because we're not getting it more consistently, even though I'm running 3. So I don't know, like, 3 is not a small number to not get it. I think at least. I don't know, might be wrong. Hello, kitty. Hmm. If I play this Lano War Elf now, I can play Trostani next turn. By the way, I don't know why I say things that are O-I and I say things that are A-O. Like I say Gorgos and not Gargos, and I say Tristani and not Trostani. Oh, are we playing Timur Elemental something 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 something? Maybe. Yikes, frames. I mean, they're gonna fix the frame problem at some point. So we have a very strong uh, turn here, especially with Voracious Hydra coming in with a plus one from Torstani. So I'm very excited for that. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like the video, because it really, really helps me, and i already getting a lot of support viewer-wise. Also, what am I seeing? That is mean. You, sir, are mean. Alright, at least we have Vorace Hydra down. Um, I have no idea what he can be playing, but I maybe I should have played Knight of Autumn to kill his enchantment here, but at the same time, it's like, I'm pretty sure he has some other type of enchantment that will play down like Citadel of Bolas. Right? Or am I thinking too much into that? Or am I just... I have no idea what is going on right now. What? What? Alright, let's win it. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Which character says that? I don't know, but I do know that frames are ridiculously bad for some reason still. Alright, a decent-ish start. I'm okay with this. Because I have the scry mostly. Or else this would be a horrible hand. Not a horrible hand, but pretty horrible hand. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Well, if you ever wondered why I want... Alright, uh, Autumn really helps here. Tristani will not come fast enough. Uh, the 4 healing from Knight of Autumn is gonna be really strong, and if we can get to a giant for another 3 healing, that will stop them quite a little bit on their cracks. Doesn't mean I automatically win on anything like Mono Red. But... Oh boy, lag me up. Lag me up inside. Hmm. Better idea to play Paradise Street. It stops two of their damage, and if I get to draw mana, I can play another Votum. Or I just let them attack, kill that with uh, Dom Sambus, play this tapped. Yeah, that's a lot better play. And now even if Paradise Druid uh, dies, it's just like that was more efficient to kill the, the runaway Steam King, especially since they mulliganed. And they don't seem to be drawing that well. And with Hexproof, it's just like very difficult for this guy. Alright, so we, we trade here. We are going down to 9, back to this top. Cool. This comes down, we gain 4 life. Now this is a proper matchup versus mono red, but at the same time it's like, you know, we could have used uh, end one with just um, ley lines. That's a good game to finish on, I believe. Light up the stage. Well, it doesn't really matter, I think we still win this now. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to cancel what you do, just um, just put like 50 or something in, as you saw here, like more mana than I have, so you can press... Oh, I did accidentally. Yeah, this is the only reason I was like, eh, don't play for Aces Hydra, they might get a Steamkin. Mm-hmm, they got a Steamkin. And after that, we have a Johnny. Oh, okay, just another Warriors Hydra. Cool. And this should be our victory. I mean, I'm just gonna get a Johnny down, I'm gonna heal for three. These are gonna have Vigilance and Trample. Like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Good game, buddy. But this is the end. I should have played Reyna. Will he, will he let me play Reyna? Nah, she's gonna concede. Reyna, Reyna, not Reyna. Reyna, Reyna, Reyna. Even if she said Reyna, you could say Reyna, Reyna. Yeah. All right, those were some fun games, in all honesty. Like, I had some rough games that uh, I didn't, of course, record. And you shouldn't play Zakama. I will not. I will not um, upload this uh, deck on Nether Hub and on MTG Pro with uh, Zakama because I think that's too much of a troll. I will probably put something else inside. But yeah. All in all, it's a really cool deck, it has a lot of ways it can be played, just sometimes you... Like, the problem with not having blue is that you will probably flood. And not, I'm sorry, you won't be drawing cards, so you will run out of steam. So, I do not like that about this deck, but I do find that it's very, very fun. So, to counter that, like, the, uh, to counter that, we will be playing Naya Feather next time, tomorrow. 
which I believe it's probably gonna have a lot more success since it's more focused on the feather and a little bit of the rain and you know you'll see it but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell to see all my next videos um, of course I will be posting every day for either one or two weeks I'm not sure just yet because the hype is real for 2020 um, yeah, write down in the comments below anything and everything you want to talk about. I answer on to everything. Also, go follow me on Twitter. I really do appreciate everything you do for me. From watching, to lurking, to subscribing, everything and anything. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care, have a great day and bye-bye.